Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 22 as we continue our worst to first run with Williams Racing here. And uh, we've gotten, what, uh, six races in the books? Let's see, we just finished Barcelona. So one, two, three, four, five. So six races, yep. Um, so we got a lot to go. So I got 16 races to go. Um, but I don't know, so far so good. Um, we're still ninth. We're still at our season objective, which is pretty good. We did crash both of our cars in the last race, so we're going to see what kind of impact that has on us. Um, so let's start down here. Design Center did just get finished. Awesome. I'm really, really happy about that. In fact, I kind of want to keep the Design Center continuing to be upgraded, even though it's stupid expensive. Getting this upgraded as quickly as possible is a big deal for us because it gives us more projects, more engineers, all the things. And we have to have this in order to continue to make a good team. Well, a good car to go along with a good team. Uh, Albin has low morale. Um, I mean, performing well in races is not going to be easy. Theo has a low morale. I mean, upgrading some of these things would be useful to help the morale, I guess. So, something we have to work on. Lots of our guys have a little morale right now. Engine poor condition. I just, I don't think we can swap it out yet, can we? Oh, we have to swap yours out, it looks like. Oof. I wonder if it's all the pushing that we've been doing. Maybe we shouldn't be pushing as much as we are. Everybody's not happy. All right, well, we'll go check that out. Uh, cars. So definitely need to, I think we're gonna try to run your engine at least one more time. Uh, yours, I mean, obviously the gearbox has to be changed. Which we just changed. So that's fun. I guess maybe we push less. I mean we're not it's not pushing is not really helping us that much anyway. It was just for fun to see what happened. And now that I can see that it has such a big impact, we will try to push the engines and push all the parts less than we do. I'm assuming that's what's happening, to be honest. It makes sense to me. I, I just don't know. I, I didn't see anywhere specifically that it called that out. But it would make some sense. So that's a big deal. Two parts going, two projects going right now. I just wish we could see a better idea of like what we're gaining from any of these things. Oh, we'll keep poking at it. Keep learning. Might be worth getting um, some morale boosts. Plus gives us more weekly experience gain for our staff. Really what I want is the weekly experience gain for our drivers. That's really not going to raise the morale any more than it already is. Apparently. <laughs> The memorabilia room boosts morale. It boosts morale quite a bit. Well, since we have low morale, I guess we will do something like that, even though I don't know that it's... 
super was would have been super high on my list. I also feel like the race simulator because we need to get our drivers as much experience as possible, especially those those young guys we're pulling in. Spent a lot of money on stuff. There's the tour center. Tour center's maxed out. Helipad's maxed out. So hopefully that's gonna help us get as much money coming in as possible. I feel like it's already gone up a bit, hasn't it? Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe I'm just wishful thinking. Um, yeah. We're making an extra 5,000 bucks per week. So, it's not nothing. There's our side pods. So, we've got... It is a you know it is a difference. These 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 latest most latest side pods are an improvement. Now these are better engine cooling. Trippy toe, these SP twos are looking better. Even though I know that these are better, they're just not better by enough to get us another ranking. I mean it's minimal. It's a minimal improvement. I mean, I guess I might as well make improvements where I can. I don't think we're going to do much more development right now. I don't I don't know. I can make four of these. I think normal. I don't think we need to spend any extra money. Let's just get some for our for our cars for now. Make some improvement. Uh, I think what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to try and see about the research. So we can do this type of stuff for this as well. Hmm. So we're going to ignore the engine cooling because of how much of a ding it is. I mean, is this really making that much difference? It's hard to, it's hard to really feel like it's just doing anything. Research benefits. 4.8%. I see the car parts expertise there now. Well, we don't care about the engine cooling, like I said. So probably either aerodynamics. We don't want to do the cooling. Let's do race performance. And that drops the cooling to the lowest. That actually might be the best. It doesn't feel like it's making that much difference, if I had to be perfectly honest. But... We'll find out. Guess we'll throw some more engineers on it just to speed it up a bit. Doesn't cost us a lot of money. And I'm assuming we can keep doing these researches. So maybe instead of designing, we just want to start researching more to really try and beef up next year's car more than this year's car. Because this year's car is really going to, it's not going to be any better than it is, right? There's not much we can do about this year's car. All right, performance targets. Nothing surprising here. Do the race weekend. Let's go. Cars 
have been racing through Monaco streets since 1929, and this weekend is no exception, as we get to watch the new generation of world-class drivers take over Monte Carlo. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. Monaco is famous for its many narrow twists and corners, from the brake-heavy La Rascasse to the treacherous Sand of Ott. There are no proper straights to speak of, and it's extremely hard to overtake here. It sounds like simple advice, but getting up as high on that starting grid as possible is the best plan of attack. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. Uh, rain on practice, but nothing that looks like on a actual race day. So, not going to worry about that too much. We'll just, again, we're just going to go and simulate through all this and we'll just zip through, we'll zip through the races. We're going to get, try and zip through these episodes pretty fast. Just because there's, there's really not much. We're, we're trying to eke out a tiny little bit of stuff here and there, but it's, it's not that much. If I thought we could consistently get 15th, I'd be trying a little bit harder. It doesn't seem like that's super, super plausible. All right, let's get into this. Oh. Cool, okay, I didn't understand how that worked, but I see that now. Last two places as expected. Come for these drivers to fight it All right. Um, doesn't look like we're expecting any rain. So, what do we want to do here? I want to let you do that. Let's see if we can finish on a, you know, a bit faster. Maybe I don't know something something different. And then we're gonna do maybe the opposite with you. We're gonna have you actually probably exact opposite with you. Sure. Try something like that. Doesn't look like we can really push much, unfortunately, but we'll we'll keep an eye on it. And if we can, if we get to a point where it looks like we're you know doing okay, we might push a little bit more. But honestly, ever, not sure if there's any point, right? We're here and the streets are abuzz at the Monaco Grand Prix, and it's lights out, and away we go. I don't want to be too harsh on my cars right now. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. You would have DRS. It feels looking really good. I just like I want to push harder, but. The power is really not doing good today. Albin's at least right on the other guy's tail. Oh, part of it is also that um, Theo is... Um, on the, the hards right now, which I'm guessing nobody else is. Well, there's a few other guys on hards. I can't, I, I, we've got to, we got to try. <laughs> it just feels like we're just not doing hardly anything right now.
All right. That was it for your fun. You didn't really do much, my friend. Box this lap. Yes, the key box. Really not a lot going on, is there? Yeah, we're just... Just don't have it in us. It's so funny that he's so far down, we can't see him. We are happy with fuel. Oh, you're going to be fine. But since we're really not making any difference, no matter what we do, let's just settle in for the rest. We tried a little bit, see if we could do anything. Not going to happen. Theo just did not have a good race today. All right, 25 seconds behind is pretty significant. True, these guys are a minute behind and we're a minute and a half, but like <laughs> the gaps in this racetrack are insane. That's Leclerc. Show Leclerc is today's winner. Definitely some of the biggest gaps we've seen on one of these races. I mean, it really is. Whatever your starting position is, that's pretty much where you're going to be. There's not a lot of movement. Tiny bit of movement there, but mostly, mostly everything stayed the same. Still in ninth.
Hey, Haas picked up a point. Good for them. I forgot to give you your point, my friend. Probably going to start rounding you out, you know, a bit. So we'll go with reactions, I guess. Well-rounded driver. Looks like we can keep upgrading this to try and boost our morale some more, although... Uh, that does not look like that's going to boost it at all. Just team attractiveness a bit, though. And it's possible the last uh, tick will give us a little bit more morale. So I guess we'll go ahead and do it. Try to make our people happy. Alright, there's Ndongo's detailed overview. So he's a free agent. So I, I thought it was going to be nothing here, but I wanted to... I've never done one of those before, so I just wanted to see if there was anything that we could see. I think we pick you up. I'd like to go as many seasons as possible. I mean, he's got very high patience, so we'll try this. So he's okay with those seasons. Salary is just a negative on that. I don't know how much to jump up by. It's too bad. All right, I guess we're going to go pretty creative. I'm going to go up to 2 mil. Okay. Contract accepted. So we're, we're yellow line there. We could have, might have potentially gotten a little bit away with a little bit less, but I can't imagine significantly less. So... Yeah, we'll go with this. I mean, this guy's a little bit better. Got to start working our way up, getting slightly better. I mean, he's not significantly better, to be fair. But we're going to try this. Try just, just changing around some people, getting some better people where we can. I mean, I want to change some of these other guys, but to be fair, these other guys, they're, they're all got pretty significant contracts. We might wait till they're in the last year of the contract before we worry about anybody else. And maybe that was a mistake grabbing that guy. I, I don't know, honestly, until we really play around with it some more. We're confidence medium. They're happy with race performance. Satisfied with everything else. We're still on target. So. Yes, I know. Top speed. Someday. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So 
So low stock on the wing. Yeah, but it's... Oh, and the chassis too, because that's what, what broke is when he crashed was the wing and the chassis. I mean, I guess we'll make one. Just to replace the one we broke, and then we'll probably make up a chassis as well. Relatively cheap. It's better to, to have it to be safe, I guess. Okay, so... Theo has low morale. I know. I don't know how to make your morale higher, my friend. I mean, you just got to perform better. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. All right, poor condition on the engine, poor condition on the ERS. Do we think we can make it one more week with this? I feel like we have to try. Same with the ERS. I feel like that race simulator, we've got to get it maxed out because we want our youngsters to be really able be able to really develop as quickly and as much as possible. Don't know if I feel like I need to do the scouting one right now. Team Hub would get us, well, nothing this level, but it might give us something next level. And it gives us experience gains for our staff. All right, let's go for that then as well. All right, all of these things need to be upgraded, right? As we continue to push forward. It's one of the things we did in Motorsport Manager is just really decked out our, uh, our, our headquarters. To really lay a good groundwork, I guess literally lay groundwork because <laughs> it's you know physical buildings um, for for stuff. Uh, morale's okay. This is a another driver. Um, very high high growth potential. I think we recruit you. Where do we recruit you? Does he take the place of um, Albin? Or just go ahead and get our youngsters set? I kind of feel like he does. I mean, it's not going to be cheap, but the sooner we get these guys established and start getting them trained up, the sooner they're going to be some of the best drivers out there, right? Like, that's that's kind of the theory. He 
Doesn't like the five seasons, huh? I guess we'll take four seasons. Take what we can get. We might not be able to keep him, though. Like, honestly, either of these guys, unless we start winning some stuff, or I say winning, progressing, we're not going to be able to keep these guys. I just need to get another reserve driver that can come in here at some point. Honestly, though, our current reserve driver is fine. He's cheap. Until we really start... Since we've got these two guys to develop, the reserve driver doesn't need to be much, because if we could use the reserve driver during practice to get him some XP as well, then fine. But... Since we're not really doing that right now. I'm not sure if that helps us. Um, did we already upgrade? No, we did not. So this will give us a little bit more morale at this last level. So let's just go for it. We're really pushing the money a lot, but once these are built, they're built, right? And we have to do some maintenance every once in a while, but they're they're built. Oh, I forgot we were looking at Jack Doohan as well. Maybe he would have been better. I mean, he's a little bit better right now. It's possible he would have been better overall. Honestly, I think we're fine with what we got. But he, he, he wouldn't be a bad driver either, to be honest. I forgot he was, we were going after him as well. But no, these two guys are going to be fine. Yeah, Jack Duhan's a little bit better than both of them right now. But Theo's a year younger. And then, quite frankly, they're both going to be able to uh, get some experience pretty quickly. Hello from Baku, where we're looking forward to a weekend of racing among the medieval and the modern here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Drivers will be battling it out on the streets of the Baku city circuit, a real contradiction of a track. From the long main straight, where the less drag the better, to the tight turns where downforce is a necessity. Teams are going to have to work hard to get that balance right. The season is about halfway through, and it makes me wonder what else is in store for the teams. Well, there's only one way to find out. Stay right here because we're just getting started. All right, should be fairly sunny. Um, really some really boxy corners in this one. Theo and Dennis, let's see what you guys can do. So driver set for the next few years. Just got to work on the car. And we're really getting the, the, the headquarters set, too. So that, that's, that's feeling pretty good, right? With the third and final free practice session. All... No surprises there. I mean, we're not crazy far behind some of these guys, but so maybe, maybe small little upgrades here and there would make a difference. And I made a bunch of those pods and I forgot to put them on. I should probably equip those pretty soon. See if that makes any difference at all. All right. So no rain or anything like that. I'm going to have you run that one. I'm actually going to have you run this one. I don't know. We're going to try something a little different here. See what happens. I don't want to tempt fate, but there are... Here we go with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go.
Let's close this gap. I wonder why they do lights out for F1 as opposed to like a green light or something like that. Or whatever it is. I guess it's not necessarily a green light, but like a different races, different, different, uh, Types of races have different types of starting signals. Multiple cars crashed. Great. Safety car. Safety car. Uh, we're only on lap... Keep Delta positive. Keep Delta positive. Uh, four. Okay. So, yeah, ignore. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. Okay, there's a big crash. Oh, one of the Mercedes guys is out. That's a pretty big deal. For them, at least. The safety car will be in this lap. Overtake is available. Okay, we can use the overtake. Alpine just advanced. They've locked up and gone straight on. We're really not catching these guys, are we? That's a good overtake from Alpine. Just a lot of tire left, but we'll play. We'll stick with the plan for now. You were going to what? The hards, I guess. Yep. So box, box. I think we can pit for the sauce quite a bit earlier. I need a speed faster than 16x. <laughs>
Really not a lot going on in this one, is there? Another crash. Safety car, safety car. And I respect the data. How many laps do we have left? Like, how far ahead of this car? We were pretty far ahead, right? Pit windows in three laps. We're literally about to be at the front of it, right? Oh, we're about, we're about to be at the window. And the safety car comes out for how many laps? I think it's a couple laps, isn't it? Can't retire car. Um... This is only going to give us 26 laps. Which is not enough. Uh, no, it is. Barely. I think we let it run for just a smidge longer. I don't think it's gonna matter, but we're gonna go ahead and try and get. Let's see if we can make the softs last. I actually don't know if there's negative to, to stacking them in the, the pit lanes. And this is probably a good way to find out. And we're boxing this lap. I think it's bad. We'll find out. Okay, I think his pit was was bad because I think he just got lapped. Whereas his was okay because he's still able to catch up in theory. So I think that's what I just learned. And 17 was not able to catch back up though as well. So that's a bad thing. Him, okay, so him getting lapped is bad. So that good to know. Now we know. DRS enabled. So positioning really makes a big difference. Let's see what happened there. Now just focus. Oh my. Okay. I mean, I guess we might as well. And that's a red flag. It's a collision. Why can't we change your stuff too? Restart is moments away as the race continues. Oh well, I'm not sure what I, I must have hit, might have hit something wrong or 
Something. And it's lights out on the track. And away we go. I'm not sure what I did. That was not let me change his tires. I mean, I think we're still gonna be fine. You should be able to go like crazy, right? You might be able to go pretty crazy. I mean, we still have terrible cars, so none of that really helped us. We shaved off the minute or whatever that we were behind, but that's about all it did. All these penalties for next for next race, I guess. Check the DRS. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. Just hang in there for like one more left, front friend. Well, not, not not great, but you know, it's kind of to be expected at this point. I mean, when your best lap time is like two and a half seconds behind the actual best lap time, that tells you a lot. Oh, we dropped behind Aston. Sure, it'd be nice to get more points from qualifying. What if we get fired if we end up in 10th? I mean, we're only off by one. All right, well, there we go, guys. That's two races in. I mean, we did drop, unfortunately. Um, maybe it's to be expected. Maybe. I don't know. But... Uh, We'll see what we can do. I, I did need to fit some new parts into the car. I, I forgot to fit those side pots and stuff like that. But I don't think it's going to make that much difference. We'll find out. Although, honestly, some of these fractions of a second per lap could actually make a pretty big difference over the course of a race, I suppose. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.